Hey guys, welcome to another video. We're about a week away from Randy Reyes' event. Um, that's going to be in Tooele. So there's a couple things we need to do to the truck to get it ready. So I've kind of already started working on it a little bit. Um, I, there's a, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but there's been a huge ball of mess right here of wiring. Wires coming over the intake horn and all that, but I finally got that all cleaned up. Um, I tucked down my boost gauges down in there now. They used to be right here, hanging off this thing here. Um, and they were like right in the middle of the way. Um, I'm gonna see what I can do about this nitrous um, switch here and see if I can get that out of the way. But anyways, that's already looking a lot better. Um, I cleaned up all the wires that were coming over here. And so they're all tucked away now and it looks a lot better. These are our parts for our purge kit that I'm gonna be putting on. Um, if you guys don't know that, so what the purge port is for, what the purge solenoid is for is when you first go up on the dyno and you haven't hit nitrous at all, um, you hit the purge and that purges the nitrous up so that it is ready to go right when you hit the button. So what it does is it lets some of the nitrous out until you can start see it flowing out good. And then when you're ready to hit the nitrous on the dyno, you hit the nitrous and it is right there and right now. So... Um, last year at Fogfest, we had some issues with that is I would hit the nitrous and it wouldn't come on until like the pole was already over. So hopefully that will fix that. So we're going to go ahead and put that on. I As you guys know that this truck is not in good shape. The bed's rusting out. I put some stuff to help stop the rust on it. Um, so I'm thinking about for Randy's event, put the, putting the fender flares back on. I know they're ugly. And obviously we're going to take those wheels and tires off. Um, I'm going to be sled pulling and dynoing at Randy's event. So um, I've been looking for some wheels and tires. Um, everybody I've talked to, they're about 12 weeks out. So I'm not going to be able to get wheels and tires um, before the event. But hopefully before the next event, which is going to be up in Montana, I'll be able to have some wheels and tires. And then, um, so we're probably just going to put the flyers back on, put the ugly motos back on and i mean this isn't a show truck yet it's a horsepower truck so i mean where are you going to put your money in the horsepower or the looks and i like to put it in the engine so anyways we're gonna get all that figured out um i'm gonna look for a new bed um i got oh sent sand mountain i got some new tail lights for it because as you guys know that the tail light broke out so i got new tail lights they look good I have a new roll pan for it and I have a new tailgate. So I'll show you that. I got this tailgate for it right here. Just needs to be painted. And then I have a roll pan back here for it that we will hopefully be putting on. I don't know if it'll be on before Randy's event, but if it is, it's probably not gonna be painted, but at least it won't be dented. It'll kind of look ugly for Randy's event to be honest, but it'll be all right. And then the next thing we have to do is on my yeah on my transmission the overdrive wire for the little team or for not the t-motor but that just the main wiring harness that plugs into the transmission that wire is hanging on by a thread so i finally found a new uh pigtail that will be able to plug in there so i need to wire that in and um let's see what else do we got to do Another thing I did is I got a gauge for the nitrous bottle so that we could see exactly how much pressure's in it. And then I have another fast system. This is another, um, I think it's a 290, another 290 gallon an hour. Um, I don't know if I will need that. Um, so that's another thing I'm doing is I'm gonna be putting a new pump on it. It's gonna be the new industrial injection, like bad boy XP pump. It's gonna be hopefully good for 2000 horsepower on fuel so we're gonna put that pump on it and hopefully the one 290 gallon an hour fast that i have will supply enough fuel for it but if not i'll have to put that on so i have it ready and everything so anyways i've been talking for an hour so let's get into it it's probably gonna call it a night tonight for now um i got everything all lined in and everything all i need to do is basically wire it in and then so that's the purge solenoid and then i ran it down under here to right here so that when i put the hood down 
it should be spraying right out of the alien head so that should be cool kind of worked out perfect and so yeah we're gonna call her a night and then see what happens the next day i got the truck in the shop now um it's the next day we got everything all wired up now as you can see this is going to be my purge button now so after i arm the nitrous i don't have the nitrous bottle hooked in or anything but this is the nitrous button and you can see that that clicks so that's all working right and now when this is armed i can push this and that will be the purge so and then it doesn't click when this is not um so anyways perch kit wired all the way in, or all in now um i'm gonna have to hook it up to nitrous to make sure that she don't leak out of these fittings or anything um and then i might need to do something to clean up these wires a little bit they don't look terrible but i need to do something with this thing too but anyways I gotta put on the fender flares now. Let's see, I got my checklist over here. Bump stops for sled pulling, trans wiring, gotta wire in that one switch, purge wiring is done. The underbelly, I'm gonna paint the underbelly and the fenders. So, probably gonna lift it up and do the trans wiring now since I'm in a wiring mood and maybe clean up some of that wiring a little bit more and then we'll see where it takes us. All right, guys, we are on our way now. We are heading up to industrial injection um, so that we can put the truck on the dyno and uh, test her out because we did end up put, getting that pump on it. I didn't, I forgot to film it, but we got the pump on it. Um, everything should be ready. There's a couple of small things I need to do when I'm up there. But anyways, we're gonna head up to industrial, probably get the truck on the dyno, and then we'll go from there. All right, guys, it has been a busy night. I haven't filmed anything. My hat's soaked with transmission fluid, and you don't even want to know why the truck's on the lift right now. <laughs> so, got here. Uh, wasn't even gonna dine on my truck today. Anyways, comes to the end of the night, or not really the end of the night. The end, end of the, the day, day, end of the work day. We're like, all right, let's put my truck on the dyno. Just kind of see what it does with the new pump and everything. We put it on the dyno. Um, I had the small tune at 1400 US in it and it hit 1810 horsepower, uh, fuel only, which is pretty good. That's my record for fuel only so far. And keep in mind this dyno, um, this dyno, uh, gives me a smaller number than usually what the Northwest dyno does. It's not a loaded. Yeah, it's not a loaded dyno or anything like that. So then we load the big boy tune in it, not the big boy, but a 1600 US tune in it. And I got transmission fluid all in my hair. Um, put the 1600 US tune in it and we send it, make about 1800 horsepower again. And I hear clanking, clank, 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 clank. And you guys know that the flywheel or the torque converters came loose on this before and it came loose again so um i freaking tried everything in the book i've tried red loctite i red loctite the bolts i freaking torque them to the right spec so i don't know what to do this is what the flywheel looks like i mean you can see where it was definitely chewing up the bolts and when we took the bolts out of it they were really loose and everything the flex plate bolts to the crank were actually fairly tight they were tight it was the torque converter bolts and uh so anyways we got the transmission out pretty quick actually we got the transmission out right here we're gonna have to file her down probably and yeah and see what we got to do so Anyways, that's where we're at. Um, good thing it's Thursday and I came up here on a Thursday. The event's on Saturday. So we're going to try to get this thing ready so we can dyno it again tomorrow. And then hopefully be ready for the event Saturday. So 
we'll see you guys probably maybe tomorrow all right guys it is the night before randy's uh dino event it's about 3 a.m or so um we uh this is what's hard about this is it's so hard to film stuff because when you have your time just diverted to one thing and i'm trying to get a truck ready it's so hard to film so just bear with me here we're trying our hardest um anyways we got my truck back on we got my trans back put back in um we put it we put the truck on the dyno um senate got about 1800 horsepower on fuel and it was doing it again the torque converter bolts came loose again so what i did is on the dyno i just i had a two foot basically pry bar and i freaking tightened those bolts as tight as i could i took it off the dyno and we're just gonna see what it can get at hand. So we got this guy here filming with the old motorcycle there industrial wrap motorcycle so i'll see you guys tomorrow we're trying to get randy's truck up and running um hopefully we can get that going um we're dying on a couple more trucks <coughs> and then uh yeah we'll go from there all right we're here at the dyno event it was a long night didn't go to bed till 5 30 a.m here with the family and everything we got the trucks lined up we're about to get on the dyno and dyno um chase is going first he's getting all suited up for you the old dyno guy here. so i can sign this sucker yeah where do you need to sign it okay. we're hoping for some big numbers here so we'll see you guys up on the dyno Right, guys so as you just saw we just dynoed and we beat the single pump horsepower record on single pump we got 2476 with nitrous and we were about 1800 on fuel um and the torque converter bolts st are in they're tight and i don't hear no clanking or anything which is pretty crazy but the old girl kept her kept her strong and we're gonna see some sled pulling coming up here pretty soon. There's a bunch of other people that dynoed that did really awesome. 
There was the 68 RFE. Um, uh, there goes Daily Driven pulling it out of the track. About pulled it out of the track. Wow. Wow, a lot of feet. But the 68 RFE uh, record was broken at 1600 something horsepower. And so yeah, let's wash some sled poles and see how it goes. Hey guys, um, so apparently there's something going on, so they're ending up the event early. They gotta shut her down, but we're gonna head out of here. We got the truck loaded down on the trailer, ended up not sled pulling. Um, Tom won the sled pull class for this truck right there. Um, overall, it was a good day. We had a lot of fun. Um, love it, coming out to these events, really fun. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and keep watching for more.